stay with playoffs, shall we? Despite the Bulls' success so far this postseason, the reportedly rocky relationship between head coach Tom Thibodeau and management in the front office continues to steal the headlines. The relationship has been described beyond repair. While people close to Thibodeau are convinced that he'll be fired as soon as the season is finished. Stephen A., the relationship is being described as beyond repair. What do you make uh, of this situation? Same thing I've been making uh, about it for years, and everybody, all of us who cover the NBA knows this. It's no secret. Uh, whether it's Adrian Wojnarowski and an exceptional job that he continues to do, or a bevy of other NBA reporters, I, Chris Broussard, Mark Stein, myself, and so many others, it's been an ongoing drama for many years that Tom Thibodeau, his relationship with the Chicago Bulls upper brass is, is virtually non-existent. Um, it's incredibly uh, cantankerous and, 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 and abrasive, uh, if not verbally, definitely in terms of body language, in terms of mood or whatever. Skip, I've heard stories where literally when Derrick Rose has been out practicing um, and he's been a staunch supporter of Tom Thibodeau, but just to monitor the usage of Derrick, of Derrick Rose and to make sure Tom Thibodeau would fall in line, literally uh, Mr. Paxson and Gar Foreman would be standing at midcourt literally staring at things and practices while it was going on just to send a message to Tom Thibodeau that you will do what we tell you to do. Etc. I haven't had the luxury of interviewing either of these guys about it. Uh, their standard operating procedure or, 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 or stance is that we're not going to comment on rumors and innuendos and all of that stuff. But everybody knows what's going on. I told you months ago, Skip, that Tom Thibodeau will be gone at the end of this year. Uh, that Atlanta obviously was a, I'm sorry, not Atlanta, Orlando was a potential landing spot. Uh, that assistant coaches are already looking for new jobs. Uh, it's, it's, it's been, it's, the handwriting's been on a wall for quite some time. And it really makes no sense. Tom Thibodeau, this is his record, y'all, in Chicago. 62 and 20, 50 and 16, 45 and 37, 48 and 34 without Derrick Rose. And then 50 and 32 this year with Derrick Rose missing a bevy of games. You look at his overall winning record, 255 and 139. The, the Chicago Bulls won six NBA championships in the Jordan era. Since that time, they've been to about they've they've been to about five playoff series. I'm sorry, five playoffs. Okay, they've advanced past the past the first round like five times or whatever. Tom Thibodeau was responsible for four of those occasions. I mean, the man is an exceptional coach, universally recognized as one of the top three coaches in the game of basketball. Perhaps he's a bit gruff or whatever, not married, no kids, completely married to the sport of basketball, obviously unwaveringly dedicated, committed to excellence. Um, I don't know the man personally, but his reputation and his record in NBA circles as a coach is exceptional. But this falls in line with the Chicago Bulls. Even when Jordan and them were winning championships, Krause was talking about, hey, this is it for you. We're going to move on. And they were letting Phil Jackson know he wasn't wanted. They were letting Jordan know they were waiting for him to move beyond the Jordan era. And owner Jerry Reinsdorf did little to nothing to stop it. So if they did that with Michael Jordan, why would they not do it with Tom Thibodeau? It just seems to be something that starts from Jerry Reinstorf on down, even though I once heard his relationship with Tom Thibodeau wasn't a problem. It was really Paxson and Gar Foreman. But in terms of the specifics, we just don't know. But it's bad. It's very bad. And to the point where you could see that Tom Thibodeau is just focused on trying to win games because everything else about the situation stresses him. Life has been made to be very, very uncomfortable. And I, I, I was told that he'll be the coach of the Bulls next year if hell freezes over. Mm -hmm. That was a quote from somebody within the Bulls organization. That's what they told me. It's that bad. Mm. Quick point of order. Tom Thibodeau would have been a much better choice for the Oklahoma City Thunder than Billy Donovan will be as their new head coach. Okay. And, okay. and obviously if they could have just waited a little while, Coach Thibodeau would have been available. Now, back to your point. Your last point is my point. I worked in Chicago for several years as the columnist of the Tribune. I closely observed the inner workings of a Bulls and a White Sox organization presided over by one Jerry Reinsdorf. I don't want to speak too long on this man because I don't want to give him more credit than he deserves, but all these issues we're talking about emanate from the top from one man, Jerry Reinsdorf. 
He is the boss. He does not care what Thibodeau thinks because he did not care what Phil Jackson thought. This is child's play compared to what Jerry Reinsdorf and his GM, Jerry Krause, did to the great Phil Jackson. They ran him off on the back burner that whole last Bulls championship run year of 1998, sixth championship. They had already managed to hire a, the, the head coach at Iowa State named Tim Floyd to replace the great Phil Jackson. Are you kidding me? And Michael Jordan said, if he's out, I am gone. And Michael Jordan was gone. And the Bulls were broken up because of the pride of the man who says, I am the boss, Jerry Reinsdorf. So none of this surprises me. If he decides you're not on his team, you're not on his team. Thibodeau is not on his team. He's had enough. See you later. He will start over with somebody anew, and he won't care because he has six championship rings from the Bulls and one championship ring and a World Series from the Chicago White Sox. Thank you very much. You're welcome. First Take is presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. And in part by USAA, proudly serving the financial needs of current and former military members and their families. Be honest, it's my new podcast available on iTunes and obviously on the ESPN radio app. You can download and subscribe today. It's about outspoken and opinionated athletes who live in and outside of the sports realm. This week, we have Charles Barkley. And obviously, he can do nothing but be honest. And speaking of being honest, let's talk about his co-host. Did you guys watch this last night? Down goes Shaq. During halftime last night of the Rockets-Clippers game, he... He fell on the set. He took out a monitor. They Obviously, he's day-to-day. -day. I don't know if he's going to be back. And then they also had a lip-syncing contest where he was barbecue chicken. I don't know what. Oh, wait. Hold on. He lost his pants, too, yeah. guys. <laughs> that show is so funny. I, I mean, I laughed so hard. I look at Shaq. And he really didn't even try to do that. That was really a pure moment. Um, your reaction, Stephen A.? It was hilarious, absolutely, but it's the big boy that I know and love. They got him good because he kept trying to run up there and take over Kenny's job when Kenny goes to the big screen. This is what he does, and he got what he deserved. It was hilarious, though. Great show, obviously full of laughs every night. Stephen A., I, I was just glad Shaq didn't hurt himself. That, that's a gigantic human being taking <laughs> a gigantic fall. <laughs> and, right. and I mean, he tripped and flat out fell. I'm surprised it he... It took a minute or two. It, 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 it took, took a minute, a minute no, or two. No, Skip. They tied it to his ankle. They tripped him up well, on I, purpose. I know, but, but he yanked the whole monitor out. And I was just glad he, he got up. He seemed just fine. But then the, just the laugh out he's loud was after the game when he's lip syncing to the bird as a big bird. Yes. And all of a sudden his he, pants fall down. He, he they just fall lost, down. He lost they his bottom. fell down. Get and it was, it was pants. truly the Shaq, the Shaq that I know funny. did it on purpose. The you, Shaq that I know did it on purpose. You think, you think he so? dropped his pants on purpose? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, really quickly, who the won Shaq the lip The Shaq that I know would do that. Stephen A., who won the lip syncing contest? Was it Kenny? Was it Ernie? Was it Shaq? Or was it Chuck? I'm going to say Shaq because Shaq was jamming. You, really? you know what? I thought Kenny was jamming. Really? That was some choreography in Kenny's okay. number. I thought Kenny did a great job, but I like to see Chuck dance. He was light on his feet. What you think about that? Like the old uncle? Charles Barkley? Yeah. Charles, ba Charles Bar The only thing you can say about Charles Barkley's dancing is that he dances better than he plays golf. Uh -oh. That's it. Okay, here we go. Wow. Well, that's there not But you're my much. man, Chuck. <laughs> I love you, Chuck. <laughs> Tomorrow, Stephen A's in L.A., Eva Longoria is here. He's upset about that, but mm. I don't think you're going to be upset about no, that. No, I'll be just fine. You'll be just fine, huh? All right, join us tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, on ESPN2. Have a good one, everyone. Thibodeau will be gone at the end of this year. Uh, that Atlanta, obviously, was a... I'm sorry, not Atlanta, Orlando was a potential landing spot. Uh, that assistant coaches are already looking for new jobs. Uh, it's, it's, it's been, it's, the handwriting's been on a wall for quite some time, and it really makes no sense. Tom Thibodeau, this is his record, y'all, in Chicago. 62 and 20, 50 and 16, 45 and 37, 48 and 34 without Derrick Rose, and then 50 and 32 this year with Derrick Rose missing a bevy of games. You look at his overall winning record, 255 and 139. The, the Chicago Bulls won six NBA championships in the Jordan era. Since that time, they've been to about 
They've, they've been to about five playoff series. I'm sorry, five playoffs, okay? They've advanced past the, past the first round like five times or whatever. Tom Thibodeau was responsible for four of those occasions. I mean, the man is an exceptional coach, universally recognized as one of the top three coaches in the game of basketball. Perhaps he's a bit gruff or whatever, not married, no kids, completely married to the sport of basketball, obviously unwaveringly dedicated, committed to excellence. Um, I don't know the man personally, but his reputation and his record in NBA circles as a coach is exceptional. But this falls in line with the Chicago Bulls. Even when Jordan and them were winning championships, Krause was talking about, hey. Stephen A., I, I was just glad Shaq didn't hurt himself. That, that's a gigantic human being <laughs> taking a gigantic fall. <laughs> and, right. and I mean, he tripped and flat out fell. I'm surprised it he... It took a minute or two. It, 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 it took, took a minute, a minute no, or two. No, Skip. They tied it to his ankle. They tripped him up well, on I, purpose. I know, but, but he yanked the whole monitor out. And I was just glad he, he got up. He seemed just fine. But then he's just the, the laugh out he's loud was after the game when he's lip syncing to the bird as a big bird. Yes. And all of a sudden his he, pants fall down. He, he they just lost, fall down. He lost they his body. fell down. Get and it was, it was pants. truly the shack, the shack that I know funny. did it on purpose. The you, shack that I know did it on purpose. You think, think he so? dropped his pants on purpose? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, really quickly, who the won the lip... The shack that I know would do that. Stephen A., who won the lip syncing contest? Was it Kenny, was it Ernie, was it Shaq, or was it Chuck? I'm going to say Shaq, because Shaq was jamming. You, really? you know what? I thought Kenny was jamming. Really? That was some choreography in Kenny's okay. number. I thought Kenny did a great job, but I like to see Chuck dance. He was light on his feet. What do you think about that? Like the old uncle? Charles Barkley? Yeah. Charles, Bar Charles Bar the only thing you can say about Charles Barkley's dancing is that he dances better than he plays golf. Uh -oh. That's it. Okay, here we go. Wow. Well, that's there not But you're my man, Chuck. <laughs> I love you, Chuck. <laughs> Tomorrow, Stephen A's in L.A., Eva Longoria is here. He's upset about honest. And speaking of being honest, let's talk about his co-host. Did you guys watch this last night? Down goes Shaq. During halftime last night of the Rockets-Clippers game, he, he fell on the set. He took out a monitor. They Obviously, he's day-to-day. -day. I don't know if he's going to be back. And then they also had a lip-syncing contest where he was... Barbecue chicken. I don't know what... Oh, wait, hold on. He lost his pants, too, yeah. guys. <laughs> That show is so funny. I, I mean, I laughed so hard. I look at Shaq, and he really didn't even try to do that. That was really a pure moment. Um, your reaction, Stephen A? It was hilarious, absolutely. But it's the big boy that I know and love. They got him good because he kept trying to run up there and take over Kenny's job when Kenny goes to the big screen. This is what he does, and he got what he deserved. It was hilarious, though. Great show, obviously full of laughs every night. Stephen A., I, I was just glad Shaq didn't hurt himself. That, that's a gigantic human being taking <laughs> a gigantic fall. <laughs> and, right. and I mean, he tripped and flat out fell. I'm surprised it he... It took a minute or two. It, 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 it took, took a minute, a minute no, or two. No, Skip. They tied it to his ankle. They tripped him up well, on I, purpose. I know, but, but he yanked the whole monitor out. And I was just glad he, he got up. He seemed just fine. But then He's the, just the fine. laugh out He's loud was after the game when he's lip syncing to the bird as a big bird. Yes. 